Okay guys, again, uh, my name is Jay Shen. Uh, welcome to the True Sneakerhead uh, channel. Uh, this is my this is my fifth video. Today I like to talk about the Fear of God Vans that came out last year. Very, very limited, extremely rare uh, nowadays. And um, I was uh, lucky enough to get, uh, I had, I think I had four pairs, a size 10 and a half, nine and a half, and two nines. And I already sold those three pairs and I kept my size, which is size nine. But uh, what I like to do today is I like to talk about um, the real versus fake bands, okay? And what to watch out for. And I'm gonna point out uh, that, um, Basically, I'm going to tell you exactly what to look for on the fakes, okay? So, here we go. Okay, so I, I have on my my left hand here is... Uh, left hand here is a fake. It's a fake shoe. Very good fake, though. It's a very good fake, but at the end of the day, like again, it's a fake. And um, here are the differences, okay, to watch out. I mean, when you look at it, I mean, they're very, very um, similar, right? But what I'll give you exactly what to look for. You look for the font and the rear, ta rear um, tab. So let's see here. If you look at the rear, okay, okay, on on the left side on the left side here you see that slight vans um, sign and on, on the right side it's completely empty blank white this is authentic this is a fake you see that uh, slight van there let me see if I could zoom that up here can you see that it's like you can slightly see the van behind but this one is completely, um, completely uh, white out. Okay, and that's a sign. Another thing to watch out for is, uh, okay, see the print. Look at, look how close this uh, A R and then this bottom. Look how close that print is right there. And look at the spacing over here. You see that? You see that spacing? That's a sure way of telling that this shoe is a fake because of that print. You see how how far it is? Like the, there's a gap, and look how, and look at the gap in here. Look how close that print is. That's the difference. Okay. So watch out for that. That's it. And I went through a lot of trouble getting this. Um, people waited. It was, this was only um, released at uh, Pac Sun, and I remember going there, and the line was so long that I didn't get it. So I had to find a, a good reseller. This guy from um, California. Uh, we we went back and forth, back and forth on negotiation, and finally I gave in. I paid him. Okay, I don't, I'm not gonna tell you how much I paid, but uh, I paid a man and I got it, and um, and that's how I was able to get this. But uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, for, overall, I mean the shape. It's extremely close. I mean, if you look at here, I mean. It's very, very close, but th like I said, those things, um, that print, um, is, a, is a dead giveaway. So, so look out for that. Oh, another thing is uh, the box. Let me show you the box here. So here is the fake box. Let me show you the difference on those. So if you look at, ooh, man, it's dark. Okay, so if you look at this one, this is real. You see how is an there's an extra um, sticker right here. Let's see. 
you see that there's an extra sticker on top of this okay with the price tag on it okay that's a that's a real that's a good sign if you get a box that looks like this without the uh, sticker no sticker here just like this most likely it's a fake okay almost all the real um, boxes authentic boxes that packs on with selling always always have this um, the sticker with the price tag right here right there okay so that's about it guys that's a way to tell um, the fake versus real okay another thing I want to talk about is um, a custom built um, uh, skate high light custom I mean, what I mean by custom is that bam custom I made these I like to print so much that uh, I made this with uh, uh, Adobe Illustrator okay I drew the fear of God and I made the graphics myself it took me about uh, 40 hours to perfect it but it's I mean it's uh, dead um, dead on the print is dead on let me show you the close-up here the print is dead on I mean if you look at the spacing the spacing is just dead on okay I made this very light shoe yeah you may um, you know make fun of me for uh, well for, for not being original but I mean they didn't if, if um, Jerry Lorenzo made a authentic version of this I would definitely cop them but they didn't so I wanted a uh, skate high version of the fear of God print they didn't have one, so I made my own. It's cool as hell. Actually, I've been wearing these, and it's, it's completely wearable. But uh, it's a nice uh, collection of mine that I do. Okay, so uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Again, if you like this video, please uh, feel free to comment. And uh, please subscribe, okay? If you have any questions, uh, uh, if you like me to do any uh, legit checking on e either Yeezy Boost uh, 350s uh, or, or Fear of God, please uh, ask me and I, I'll let you know. I'm an expert at um, looking at what's real and what's fake. Okay. Alright, thanks for tuning in and uh, please don't forget to subscribe. This is my uh, fifth video. So, Oh, by the way, um, I decided to return the uh, iPhone 7 because uh, I just realized if you use the other side, my iPhone 6 takes just as good video, like just so you, just so you saw, just as you saw, right? So, anyways, thank you, and uh, I'll see you again. Uh, maybe I'll, tomorrow I'll do another review on on some shoes uh, that I'll, I'll probably get. Uh, probably it's a surprise. I'll let you know what what it is. Thanks for tuning in.